It's time for a very serious chat. Boop poop! Poop! I think there is no better feeling in the world than taking a poop. It's better than sneezing. It's better than the orgasm. And I'm not just talking about one of those little, ooh, I got a poop. Look out, my bum bum is full. I'm talking about one of those craps where you've been on a car drive for about an hour and it's been brewing in your stomach. And if your grandmother got between you and the bathroom, you would kill her. And then when you finally get to the toilet, your butt explodes. It's like, Yeah, that's the best feeling. And you know what? Everybody does it. That's right. You poop, you poop, you poop, and I know you poop. Because everybody has an anus or a butthole. And that means you poop out of your anus or butthole. Unless you have a colostomy bag. If you do have a colostomy bag, I'm sorry. I'm sick of all you girls out there, you know. Oh, I don't poop. I'm a lady. I know for a fact you poop. Everybody poops. I can't use the public toilet because I suffer from something they like to call safe toilet syndrome. That means I can't poop anywhere else but my house. And when I do try and go in the public restroom, there's always this huge massive Lincoln Log poop in the toilet. Like somebody left it there. Like it's some sort of prize or trophy that you would hang on your wall. They're proud of it. They made this huge poop. I don't want to see that. I mean, I'll look at my own poop. Hey, there's, it's fine to look at your own poop. I look at my own poop, it's great. But I don't want to see your poop, all right? Same goes with farts. Hey, I smell my fart. Sometimes they even smell good. So I'll maybe share them with people around me. But when you fart, that is disgusting. It always smells awful. Ever walk into a stall to find that somebody had just left and they just took a giant dump? But instead of flushing it, they just took a little, they took some toilet paper and just covered it up? Like they're tucking it in for bed or something? Why would you do that? That is sick! Here's the situation. You're in class, you're listening to music, and you fart. What do you do? Well, here's a tip. Here's what I do. I'll be sitting there, doing my work, and I'll feel a pressure in my stomach. It's a fart. So I push it out. And I can't tell if it made a noise or not because I'm listening to music. So what I do is, I make fart noises with my mouth. That way, if people hear my fart, they'll be like, well, Did he just fart? And then I'll be like... <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, he's crazy. He's just making fart noises with his mouth. No need to worry. I just realized that if people hear me making fart noises in class now, they're going to be like, he just farted. Damn it, I blew my cover. One time I was walking down the road, and I farted. And the fart talked to me. It said, Bert? It was looking for a man named Bert. I wasn't Bert, so I didn't know what to say, so I just ignored it. A little while later, I farted again. This time the fart was angry. It was angry that Bert wasn't answering. Bert? Here's a wild fact for you. There's a new drug out. It's called butt hash. Basically what you do to enjoy butt hash is you take a jar. Then you deposit feces, aka poop, into the jar. And you pee into it and you mix up your pee and your poo together, right? And you put the balloon on it and you leave it out in the sun for about a week or so. Then you come back and all the methane has escaped from your poop and it's up in the balloon and the balloon has inflated. So you take the balloon and you just inhale it. Here's my question. Who thought to inhale their own poop gases? You sick freak. Oh, oh wait, check this out. Have you ever seen one of those huge poops where you just think, 
Wow. That's incredible. Because the butthole must be at least this big around for that poop to come out. And it's just... It's just a, a, like a miracle of modern science that this happened. And the poop got that big. And God bless that man for leaving that poop in the toilet for me to see. Did you know that there's actually a guy out there and it's his job to study farts? He studies men's farts and he studies women's farts. And he actually concluded that although men fart more than women, the women's farts stink a lot more than the men's farts. There you go, ladies. I gotcha. You fart and they stink. That's not a bad thing. Some guys out there, you know, they would love a little competition. So ladies, if you're out there and you're listening, fart around your man. He might just like it. I use Adidas because I like to smell like sports. Mm -hmm.